Here's a word problem on speed that seems pretty straightforward, but not exactly. Chris is going to a store that's 10 miles away. So starting from home, Chris is going to be driving to the store that's 10 miles away. And he's driving at 40 miles per hour. Next, he's coming back from store back home at 80 miles per hour. So from the store back home, is driving at 80 miles per hour. Again, the distance from the store back home will be 10 as well. Then the question is, what's the average speed for the entire trip? Thinking of the average, meaning add up what we have divided by how many we have, most people will do 40 divided by 80 and then divided by two and come up with 60 miles per hour. But that's not the right answer. It's the wrong answer as it's written here. Because of the fact that he's driving at 40 miles per hour going to the store, he's going to be spending more time driving at 40 miles per hour than at 80 miles per hour. Since 60 is the halfway, it's going to be actually less than 40 or close, uh, less than 60. It's going to be closer to 40 miles per hour than 80 miles per hour for the average trip. So, Let's go ahead and use this table to find the actual average speed for the entire trip. What's the speed going to the store? 40 miles per hour. And what's the distance? It's 10. The time, we're going to figure it out in a minute. What's the speed for him coming back from the store back home? It's going to be 80. And what's the distance? It's the same or 10. The formula we're going to be using to find the time is going to be STD or speed times time equals distance. For going to the store, his speed is 40. Time is what we want. Distance is 10. Therefore, T or the time it takes for him to go from home to the store will be 10 over 40 hour or 1 over 4 hour. So I'm going to put that in here, 1 over 4. Next, the time it takes for him to go back home from the store, we'll use the same formula again. So it's going to be 80 for the speed, the time is what we're looking for, and this is 10 once again. If we solve for t, we'll get t equals 1 over 8 hour. So it's going to be 1 over 8. Then, how do we find the actual average speed for the entire trip? Here is the formula. So the average speed for the entire trip will be the total distance over the total time. Okay. So what's the total distance? Well, that's the easy part because it's 10 miles from home to the store and 10 miles back home. What's the total time? One over four hour going to the store and one over eight of an hour coming back. If we simplify this, this will turn into 10 plus 10 is 20. One over four plus one over eight is three over eight. And if we Simplify this. This is, of course, 20 times the reciprocal of 3 over 8 or 8 over 3. So we get 160 over 3 miles per hour as the average speed for the entire trip. And if we convert that 160 over 3, it's going to be 53.3, repeating. However, if we round it off to one decimal place, it's going to be 53.3 miles per hour. As you can see, the 53.3 is less than 60 or closer to 40 miles per hour than 80 miles per hour.